What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. Today's video review is going to be on the Orca Torch D620 canister flashlight. And I want to give a shout out to Erica over at Orca Torch. She sent me this light to do some product testing for them. And I've had it for about a week now. I took it down for three days to, to do some diving down in Florida. We was in North Florida. We did some cavern and cave diving down there. And then I brought it back here in the last few days. Even today included, I've been doing some lake diving. As you can see that the light's still wet. So what we're going to do is take a quick look at it. We're going to show you the features of it. I'm going to tell you about some of the pros and cons of it. And ironically, there's only one real con that I that I found with this light that I wasn't too impressed with, but all the other features to the light I was very impressed with as far as how easy it is to use, how easy it is to recharge and all that. Simple features on it made this light a very good light. I gave this light a four and a half out of five stars simply based off the one con that I found with it, which I'll go into detail on. But let's take a quicker look at it and show everything that comes with the Orca Torch D620 flashlight. Alright guys, taking a quick look at the light itself and show you everything that comes with it when you make your purchase. Uh, this one has a hard shell case, which I really like because it's got all the components that I need with the light, different accessories, spare parts, stuff like that. Everything is here in this one hard shell case. The case itself is foam padded on the inside so the light's not just sitting there rolling around getting beaten banged up. Several things that come in the case, of course, you're going to have a charger because it does come with four of its own batteries. And these are the 18650 batteries that are very easy to recharge, about a four to eight hour recharge time depending on the power strength of the battery. You have two ways of doing it. You've got a house charger, of course, you can plug it in your standard outlet. And you, of course, also have a 12 volt charger here so you can use it if you're in your vehicle or anything like that. Once again, it does come with four of its own batteries here. You also get a set of spare O-rings. Now this lot takes three O-rings for the canister itself, so they send you a set of three spare O-rings here. The canister itself is aluminum. It's very lightweight. It does have a little bit of weight to it, but not enough that if you're wearing this on your uh, side of your BC or something like that, or your waist strap, that it's gonna really shift your weights left or right. So you, as far as trim goes, it, it doesn't really affect you on trim. Opening the light up, we can insert the batteries, and you can clearly see there's three different O-rings here. Very easy to replace, just use a standard silicone that you'd use on any flashlight or any camera system to seal it. We're gonna simply take the batteries, two positive goes up, two the positive will go down. And then we can seal the lid of the canister. There's two little prongs here. That's very easy to line up, shows you where they line up in. So you'll always make sure that it goes on the right way. And you simply screw it back to the canister lid. It does also come with a little wrist lanyard here. Now, I personally do not use this. I'll show you how I do mine. The light itself comes with its own Goodman style handle that is very easy to adjust. There's no wing nuts or anything like that. You just got a simple screw here. You can turn it and line it up to fit your hand. Simply tighten the screw back down, and then you can adjust it to fit any hand out there if you got thicker gloves on. Now, unfortunately, it does not come with a bolt snap. I added the bolt snap on temporarily separate, but the light itself, it has an XHP70 LED bulb here. Now, the only con to it, it is not adjustable. It's more of a flood beam versus a spot beam. That's about the only bad system or bad thing about it is. I can't adjust it to more of a spot beam, but all in all, it did give me plenty of light, uh, and I'm gonna show you some footage with it here shortly. It does come with an extra rubber piece, so if you wanna change, maybe customize it to your color or whatnot, you either get an orange or a gray uh, rubber piece that you can add. The switch itself to turn it on is a 90 degree rotary switch, so I can turn it into the lockout position for travel if the batteries are in the canister and it's not gonna be able to turn, be turned on or off and waste that battery power. Of course, I can turn it to the own position where I can go through the different modes. It does have three modes. It has a high setting, a medium setting, and it also has a low setting. On the high setting, it's 2,700 looms. On the medium setting, it's 800 looms. And on the low setting, it's 150 looms. Now, depending on what setting that you're on, it's going to determine the runtime. But all in all, it's going to have about four hours of use out of the light itself. And that's 
of course going between settings turning it off when you don't need anything like that as far as charge time and eight hours is a good time to get a full charge but you can change the charger you got a little button here that you can change just how long it takes to charge depending on how dead the battery is itself but all in all the light itself is an awesome light like I said with the Without the option of changing the beam itself, I give this light a four and a half out of five stars. I really like this light. I plan on using it here in the future quite a bit. But you can mount it on your side or you can simply put the canister in your pocket. And of course, you've got the Goodman handle here for ease of use. So guys, let me show you some quick footage from this past weekend where we dove down in the caves down in North Florida. And I'm gonna show you some footage here from this morning where I actually used this lie in the local lake and then I'll give you some final thoughts. All right, guys, so all in all, the Orca Torch D620 is definitely a light that I would recommend to any diver out there, whether you're cave diving or you just want a little bit stronger light, maybe you're doing some wreck diving or night diving. All in all, the light is a great light. About the only con I found with it is not being able to adjust the beam itself. Now, I personally like a light that I can have a flood beam or a spot beam or both at the same time. But other than that, I definitely give this a four and a half out of five stars. I would recommend it. It's not too terribly expensive when you start talking about canister light. So it is a reasonably priced budgetary light, if you will. Uh, but yeah, I really enjoy this light. Once again, I want to give a shout out to Erica over at Orca Torch for sending me this light to test. 
Um, guys, if you got any questions on this, you can simply look them up. I'll put several different, uh, several different links in the description below for them. But if you got a question directly as far as anything that I've used this lot for or any testing I've done, simply put it down in the comments and I'll get back to you shortly or as quickly as I can. Guys, as always, make sure you check back each week for new videos. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.